Hey, it's your pal Ken, and today I'm going to play with the Parrot Anafi Thermal. Woohoo! Yeah! All right, so today I'm going to meet the Parrot Anafi Thermal for the very first time. In fact, Keith Davis here. Hi. Say hi, Keith. Hello. He's got it in that bag. And we're going to do this as we social distance. So, drop the bag. I don't know you, man. All right, let's see here. Is this your beer? No, that's oh, hers. I got it. He brought his mom. What's your name? Jenny. Jenny is uh, Mrs. Davis? Davis yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a light little thing. It is, amazingly is so. May I unfold it, sir? Yes, you may. Is there any particular way to... Oh, no, it's easy to use. Oh, you do it like that, and then you do it like that. Okay, like on the Mavic, you have to do the other legs first With otherwise the swivel, it gets right up. this is really cool wow how much was it this runs 1900 <laughs> here you go <laughs> <laughs> the props are paper thin just like the mini that's good right does it fly better than, than the mini have do you have the mini uh, no i haven't had a chance at the mini but it does have a solid flight path it, it holds steady and, and actually responds very well what kind of battery life do you get? It does get about 28 minutes. Nice. They say 30 to 32, but it's 28. But there's no obstacle avoidance. There is no obstacle avoidance. So this films thermal and 4K at the same time? It does a fusion with the thermal, but you only get one or the other. What kind of range you get on that thing? It says it has a range of 2.5 miles. I've only actually flown it out to about a mile, mile and a half so far. And as you can see, it's flying really slow. Yeah. That is because of the various speed settings it has. There is a plethora of actual possibilities with this camera, shooting cinema, hyperlapse, slow motion, and it'll switch between thermal and regular vision. Okay, but when you're flying right now, what you're seeing is regular you. video. Correct. Now switch to thermal. So you have to fly using the thermal camera? Yes. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, okay. And flying in thermal can be very difficult because you're not used to that type of imagery. Right, so the best thing to do would be to get to where you want to be, hover, then turn on the thermal. Don't fly using the thermal. Yes. Here you go, Ken, why don't you give it a shot? Well, if you insist. I absolutely do. Oh man. Can you hook up a crystal sky to this? I have yet to check that, but that's one of my biggest things I would probably want to know. Yeah, because this, I mean, your phone is awesome. What kind of phone is this? It's a Galaxy S10. Uh -huh. The reason why we picked this location is because you can get a great shot of the city and uh, still be in good navigable airspace. Do you like the video from this? I can't really tell from the... It actually captures very good 4K video. Okay. Is it stable in higher altitudes? It, it, it's classed up to 50 mile per hour winds. Oh, wow. But I've actually tested that recently. Did you? Well, it's like a leaf I blower? In, I was in 38, 40, and it was holding steady. That's good, because the Mini with similar propellers is no good. All right, let's switch it over. You should be in thermal now. Oh, okay. It takes a few minutes for it to switch over, a couple seconds to switch oh, over. Oh, I see. So we can see that the Bat building is 106 degrees on this side. Let's check out the rest of the city. Oh, yeah. This is cool and hot. <laughs> and see hot. what I did there? <laughs> Let's see what the river temperature is, if we want to go swimming in the river. Oh, the river is a pleasant 75, 76 degrees. I think I'm going swimming after this. Let's do that. <laughs> the resolution on the thermal is akin to the FLIR 1 for the smartphone. Well, it's a Boston sensor, so it's pretty limited in its capabilities. It has a narrow field of view, not as wide as some of the other thermals out there. Right. Certainly has great applications for cellular tower work, utility work. Roof inspection? Solar, not so much for roof inspections. Really? It just doesn't have the clarity required for roof inspections. So for roof inspections, you have a different drone, don't you? I do. Hi, welcome back. Can you land it in your hand? Yes, you can. It does right. have handling. Here you go. Land it in my hand. Nice. Nice. 
All right. Oh, what do we have here? Here we have the DJI Matrice 210 equipped with the X-T2 thermal camera. Wow, 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 that is awesome. Look at that thing. How it's much was that piece. camera? Well, the camera is around 12 to 13,000. What? Well, it's because it's a really, really, really good camera. And uh, they say. Uh, okay, well, I'll put a link in the description for the one person watching who can afford it. <laughs> Do you have to mortgage your house to get that? No, just the truck. Oh, the heck with the truck. Look at that resolution. Am I gorgeous? Take off. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got a little bit better resolution going on now. This is the Matrice 210 with the thermal on it. Ha ha ha! I totally burnt my finger. Worth it! Comparing the prosumer Anafi Thermal up against the Zenmuse X-T2 is really kind of unfair, but we wanted to show you the range of resolutions when it comes to aerial thermal imaging. The Anafi Thermal has a built-in 4K HDR camera with a 21 megapixel Sony sensor and the FLIR radiometric thermal imaging camera with 160 by 120 resolution. When compared against the Zenmuse X-T2, well, you can see. The Zenmuse has 640 by 512 maximum resolution and might be a better option for certain applications, if you can afford it. The X-T2's been out for a couple of years and the price has come down to about $6,300. Hey, should I hand catch it? <laughs> you know I bet I could. You know, I bet I could hand catch it. Would you let me try to hand catch it? <laughs> you want to, I'll try and fly you away with yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you come down, how did you turn it off? When Show you, me the sticks. When you bring the landing down, it's always. Nope. Really? This is the single most important thing I will ever tell you because what happened there at the end, you almost lost your drone. Well, it tipped over. You release it and nope. then you just bring it straight down. Nope. Well, I've been doing it all wrong then. Have sticks in <laughs> is on. Right. This stick, all the way down and hold it, is off. Really? Yes. Oh, yeah, I've been doing this all Hol wrong all Holy along. Cow. I'm so <laughs> glad I was able to tell you that. Yes. I'm 60 or 65 flights in with this thing. <laughs> wow. Have you I've been, always been doing it that have way. Have you been close to tipping it a few times? A couple of times. Please, <laughs> please listen. Do not do sticks in to land. Sticks in to take off. That's a valuable lesson indeed. Throttle down and hold. And this is important what, for what we're about to do because you don't want to lop my head clean off. Absolutely. Okay, here's the first time I'm trying to hand catch the Matrice 210. Come on down. Don't try this at home. Yeah! You don't know how important that is. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's links, of course, to all the gear you've seen, including the, was it half a million dollar camera and the Matrice 210? Uh, no, that's just the insurance. Okay, well, click on the link anyway to find out how much it is and how many children you need to sell to buy one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you very much for putting this video into high gear. <laughs> Yeah. Nah. Ooh, it's a thermal, and we're gonna film hot and cold stuff today. Yes, we are. Speaking of hot, you brought your mom. Nice. She is a good-looking gal at her age, ain't she? <laughs> you had to throw that in her age there. Do you like that, mom? Thank you. Mm. Well, she's older than me. Good <laughs> lord, man. All right. I'll, I'll do the comedy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this video lovingly sponsored by RemotePilot101.com. If you are serious about making money with your drone, whether it be photography or FPV, well, then you're going to need 
from the FAA, a 14 CFR Part 107 certification. And the best place to study for that certification is remotepilot101.com. Jason Shepard is a pilot and author of eight best-selling aviation flight training books. And yes, taking tests suck, especially government tests. But Jason breaks it down into 10 easy lessons into little digestible pieces that even someone like me can learn from. And if I can do it, you can do it, by golly. Use Heron 18 to get 30% off. That knocks the price down to 104 bucks. Look at that, boom, magic time. You wouldn't drive without a driver's license. Don't fly without a UAS license. Remotepilot101.com. Here we go. The stop signs near your house are always optional. I don't know if you knew that. This guy's just gonna be a pain in my ass. I tend to drive a little more aggressively on the motorcycle. I know I shouldn't. I know it upsets my mom. Sorry, Mom. 